Hey, this is Grizzly Man 660. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your sway bar on a 660 Grizzly. First off, you don't have to do this. I just find this is easier just to jack her up. Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and remove your wheels, which I already got one of the lugs off. But if you have ITP wheels, your chances are you're going to have a 14 millimeter lug if, but if you still got factory wheels you're gonna have a 17 mm lug alright now that you got your wheels off we're gonna remove this bolt right here that goes onto the A arm to the from the sway bar which is a 14 you wanna put a 14 right here to hold it and then this is a 14 nut now it's the same right here so go ahead and remove that now once you got this all, the bolt out and removed from both sides, both sides, now you want to take these four 12 millimeter bolts out so you can take your sway bar off. Alright, now that you got those bolts out, your sway bar is just hanging here, now you're going to have to put one of these bolts back in to hold your brake line holder. I have no clue what it's called. I got grease in my hands. But anyhow, so now we're ready to pull out the sway bar. Alright, now just get a hold of your sway bar and just slowly start fishing it through here. You don't want to go too crazy because you don't want to have something get caught up and then break something. And there you go. There's your sway bar off of a 660 Grizzly. Alright, now you want to get that one bolt and stick it back in here and draw it back down so that holds your brake line. I can't get it to start with one hand. Oh, there we go. But now you want to draw that back down, and then we'll start putting it back together. 